How long have you been living in this uh, abandoned drug crack house? Up in here? Yeah. About six months. Six months? Okay. And you, uh, you, you, where'd you come from? Coconut Grove. Coconut Grove, so you ended up here because what? I was on drugs. Hi, this is Alexander Cardos for March 13, 2022, here live, pre-recording from Northside, Unincorporated Miami-Dade County. This is Commissioner, Miami-Dade Commissioner, Gene Munstein's district, the mayor of Miami-Dade is Danny Acava. So I was here about four or five months ago, and the video will be posted under this uh, video, under this whole post after it's all said and done. By the way, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, subscribe to this channel, like it please slam the like button on this video and all my videos so this uh is 94th street northwest 94th street 90, uh, 17th avenue and you can see so 11 is across the street this is 95th street 17th avenue yeah 94th street 17th avenue and this is a residential area pretty pretty decent for it considering that it's in north side now imagine you having a child, boom, you're a parent, you're having a child, and, you come, and your child comes outside and, and ends up seeing this. A drug, crack, a crack drug abandoned house. And you got the illegal dumping. Now I was here six months, four or five months ago, maybe six months ago. I told Kava about this, I told Monestein's office about this, nothing. Now I didn't go inside. I'm gonna make an attempt to go inside and see if there's anybody sleeping there. But this is a abandoned drug crack house. That's what it is. So let's see. around this way first and foremost so I was here like a few months ago and I told uh, the commissioner and the mayor about this nothing was done See if the door's open. I'm pretty sure if I was to break that door, I can go in, but I'm not gonna try. So we're gonna try to hit at least uh, this one, and then there's another one that I went to prior. Um, that's also on my video, it's on Sony Ann Street. We're gonna hit that one too. Looks like somebody is uh, does stay here. So I'm not gonna go back, I'm not gonna go deeper because it's very it's really dangerous. And I don't know if there it looks like somebody stays there. You see all these beer bottles. This is a drug, a crack drug house, abandoned drug crack house that needs to be torn down. And I've been pushing for this and for the for, for the past few months and nothing's happened. The mayor of Miami Dade County literally along with the commissioner, Munestein have the power to knock this house down, flatten it. 
All right. Is anybody here? Is anybody here? I'm calling. I was trying to call to see if there was anybody there. All right. The only great thing look, that looks nice about this house is the beautiful painting, I guess, from a Jafre Oliveras. About the only good thing. But I went inside. You saw a little bit of the inside of this abandoned house. I like to call it, well, actually, an abandoned drug crack house with some graffiti. Litter on the, on the ground, everything. It's a nice store. You have a child who lives across the street. I mean... They have to see this every single day, even next door. This is the neighborhood. It's an eyesore. 17th Avenue, 94th Street. So we are almost there, approaching this other drug crack house. Now the first one that you saw it looked like somebody lives there. But make no mistake about it, it's no one, it's two types of people that live there. Either people that are vulnerable, that are in trouble, that uh, either are drug users, homeless people. And they're, and they're victims to the drugs and they're victims to the system. Make no mistake about it though. It's either those type of people, drug users or homeless people, that are victims to drugs. They fall victims and prey to drugs, to the system, to the whole financial system. Or the other type of people are drug dealers. Criminals have no good intentions at all. And they either deal there or live there. And drug users and homeless individuals also live there. So this one's on 14th. This abandoned house. This is an abandoned building actually. This used to be a business. Also slash apartment. And you're going to see it right here. This is a... I was here six months ago. 14th Avenue, 14th Court. And... 79th Street. So right here, you can see 79th Street. I call this the street of hell. Because there's all, all that there is in this street is prostitution, drug users, drug dealers, criminals. And the victims, of course, are drug users that are victims. Homeless individuals as well. But it's the people that have businesses on this street and live along the street and close to the street, the neighborhoods that connect to the street. Miami-Dade County government is supposed to take care and fix this issue. So this is the abandoned building I'm talking about. I was here six months ago. I'm also gonna put this video, the one from six months ago, I'm also gonna put it under the screen, under this video. See if we can get in here and let's go check it out. We're gonna try to make we're gonna try to make contact with anyone that's living in here. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I'll be out of your way. So 
door inside here. And I'll show you what the outside of this window. Boom. This looks like this was a bathroom. You, uh, how long have you been living in this uh, abandoned drug crack house? Up in here? Yeah. About six months. Six months? Okay. And you, uh, you, you where'd you come from? Coconut Grove. Coconut Grove? So you ended up here because what? I was on drugs. You feel the system has failed you? Or do you feel that you failed yourself? I failed myself. <laughs> do you, when you try to seek help, did they turn you away? I ain't never tried. I tried for the food stamps and I got it. But what about the drug use and stuff? I didn't make to a drug program before. Didn't work? Mm -hmm. You have a you have family? Mm-hmm. Who's your family? My daughter, my sister, my brother. Um, you feel safe here? Living here? In the daytime. What about at night? Well, I come at night and be there in the time in the daytime. What who comes here at night? Nobody. I don't like nobody here. What they about? Go over there, but they don't come over here. Now that's a drug crack house right here. They go over there, they don't come over here. Yeah. Um, you feel like, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm pushing to get this demolished. Mm -hmm. I was here six months ago. I didn't come inside. I don't think you were here six months ago, right? Yes, Seven months ago? You were? Well, I didn't come inside. Mm -hmm. This time I'm in. My intention, I'm the media. Alexander Show. Boom. You see? I, I come in with identification. My intention is to get this demolished. Now, to be fair to you, you, you know, with the condition that they give you housing. Mm -hmm. they, should get, they should give you housing. Yeah. The mayor of the county, Daniela Cava, the commissioner, Daniel Munstein, mm -hmm. they're responsible to make this happen. They can literally and easily just demolish this entire place yeah. and make it a one-stop shop program for homeless individuals, because you're homeless, right. that will house homeless individuals that want to help want to help, a workshop, a education center, a medical center, drug addiction program, blah, 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 a one-stop shop. That, for the fact that they don't do it, the reason they don't do it, it it's, it's, it's crazy. I don't understand why. It's so easy. I mean, homeless Trust is supposed to help you. We've got $67 million. Uh, you mind if I take a deep uh, walk through there? Can I you go can't through? Go back through there. That's where I sleep at. But you sleep here, right? I sleep in the back. Can I? Can you show me? I don't want all that on. on, on no, no. Me. I'm only going to go as far as you allow, allow me to go. This looks like a fan, so it's right here. Well, I'm not going to go any further. Don't worry. But anyway, I see that. Yeah, this was a business at one time. Yeah. It was a business. Yeah. It was. Hannah, is there a message you like to provide? Anything you want to share? Anything you want to say? Do you want help? So you can see she does sleep there, live there. Look how disgusting this is. All that litter, all that illegal dumping, all that trash. This is the other drug crack house I'm talking about. That one looks like it's closed. Let's go take a deeper look. I'm going to try to go in here too. I won't go in here. I actually care about going downstairs, down here, trying to go inside.
in the Benin property. Illegal dumping. This is an eyesore for 79th Street. For the residents of this area, businesses of this area. So, there is somebody that sleeps here. 